What's happening, Hoodland Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old N, aka the world's most dangerous YouTuber. And look, before we get started, you already know what to do if you're a part of the Hoodland Gang. If you're not, subscribe, and you can be. If you like the content, hit that like. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Follow me on IG at Hoodie from the Hood, not the Hood, D A. The hood. Talk to me. I talk back, man. I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with the channel. I appreciate everybody who's been tapping into the lives lately. I told y'all I'm gonna start going live more. I know I'll be playing, homie. And as 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 easy as this YouTube thing is, um, it gets repetitive and tedious at times. And 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 picking up the phone and recording a video or going live uh, should be easy, but Hey, man, I don't know. I guess I'm not a big speaker like that nigga that messed with Drica. But anyways, um, y'all see the title? Um, they politicking in these YouTube streets. Uh, now, that, that title might be a little misleading to some of y'all. Y'all might think I'm talking about some YouTube drama or people going back and forth or whatever the case is, these beefs and all that. That's not what I'm talking about. Politicking in these YouTube streets is pretty much um people from different areas not necessarily uh rocking with other people because of where they from you know what i mean like a person to see you and be like I rock with your channel homie i watch your videos all the time i respect what you're doing i appreciate what you're doing but they might not necessarily openly show that support. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's one thing to tell you, but how many of these niggas will you see actually reshare your video? How many of these niggas will you actually see uh, openly talk about watching your videos? It's one thing to tell you that, but they won't openly do that. It's because it's politics behind this. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all probably saying, man, what the hell are you talking about? Hold on, give me a second. Um, and I'm going to choose my words very carefully because I don't want people to think that I'm coming at them or I'm coming at a certain platform. I'm just stating what I see based on what I see, my observation. I'm giving you my opinion. For those, for those of y'all who know, I've been on YouTube for the past two years. Um, probably the last year, I've been like bringing other people onto my platform, uh, having conversations with them. As you know, over here, the Hulam Gang, we don't do interviews. We do conversations with friends and acquaintances. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason why I say we don't do interviews, because interviews is like, I well, first of all, I don't write down questions. You know what I mean? I freestyle all this stuff. And uh, it's really just like me and you having a conversation, you know, but we, we recording it. You know what I mean? And um, you allowed to ask me questions back. You know, you don't really see too many people on interviews, the people getting the interview, asking the person doing the interview questions. But anyways, um, what I mean by that is, some of y'all be asking me, would I ever interview this person or that person or somebody from this hood or that hood? Let me tell you something, homie. I've been said my platform is not just for my homies. Of course, that's home base. That's where it's going to start out from. You know what I mean? Because that's where I'm from. Yes, I want to see my side win in everything. But I want to see my city win as well, because as a city, we are uh, underrated and overlooked all the time in the shadow of other places it's just reality um i had seen a video of cartoon yesterday saying why he started his channel because there was really no representation of not just his hood but that side of the 110 freeway the east side of south central didn't really have too much besides spider Oak, they didn't really have too much representation so he wanted to voice he wanted to have a voice for his section you know what i mean and that was the same thing that i did i wanted to have a voice for not only my section but my city so 
with that being said, the platform uh, has been growing. More and more people have gotten up on my content. And um, more so recently, there's another platform um, that has resurfaced, in, 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 well, not resurfaced, surfaced in San Diego. Uh, I believe his name is uh, Hindu Unplugged. Uh, shout out to him. I am subscribed, homie. Love what you're doing. Um, but I, I believe he's a non, yeah, he for sure is a non affiliate. He's from, uh, I think he said Georgia. But he's been out here since 98. So he's been out here for 25 years. Nigga, pretty much, he, he, you know, he's from Georgia, but you kind of from San Diego. But what I'm saying is, within a month of, him i don't know how long his platform i've discovered it within the last month uh he didn't have everybody on that platform that y'all didn't ask me about including jo but jo is my homie he's been on my channel all the people that y'all keep asking me hey you should interview this guy you should interview that guy i've already reached out to these dudes i've already had conversations with these dudes and this dude started his platform and they already went over there i get it like i said i'm subscribed i enjoy it he got the fancy setup i'm grimy i'm a hood nigga i'm off the phone got a ring light whatever uh i'm more nigga i'll pull up wherever you at and do it you know i get that from the alex alonzo's in the in the kev max yes they might have a setup they might have a studio i've been to uh, uh alex alonzo street tv studio uh on two different studios as a matter of fact the one in the 40s and the one you know somewhere else going towards downtown but i've been to both of those but they'll also come pull up and interview you where you at you know what i'm saying alex alonzo interviewed us in the alley a park you know what i'm saying they alex alonzo will pull up to your projects you know what i'm saying so I always been that type of person with my content. Like I'll come to you, we could do it wherever you want to, whatever the case is. I understand I don't got the fancy setup, but I'm saying all that to say, I've already reached out to these people, but I know what it is. It's politics, it's forever gonna be where I'm from. You gotta think, I'm a crip in the majority Damu city. So y'all wanna see all these people on my channel. I wanna see them on my channel, don't mean they necessarily want to be on my channel and even if they do it's politics it's people that they got to answer to it's people that's going to feel some type of way about them coming on my platform because of where i'm from and not only where i'm from but who i am specifically not saying i'm the illest nigga out of my section and nigga i done knocked out 20 niggas i got the most bodies but nigga come on i'm a somebody from my section so that's gonna rub certain people the wrong way especially niggas around my age or maybe a little younger they're not going to understand that because they're not mentally there yet so to see they big homie on my platform they might look at him some type of way because they haven't fully developed and they don't see the bigger picture you know what i'm saying i i just saw when i watched the uh the 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 the, the interview with mitchy slick and um the, the Hindu Unplugged dude, like I said, shout out to both of them. And Mitchie Slick was talking about how Dago artists don't get played in the club. The DJs be groupies for other people in, in, in other cities and other states. And they barely play San Diego artists. But if you go to those cities, you won't hear no San Diego artists. You barely hear California artists in general. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about how, and these is all facts what he's saying. He was talking about how uh an artist to come out here and niggas would just be on stage with him you know he's smoking weed fucking all the bitches ain't doing no verses ain't doing nothing just come and use san diego for their resources and this is why they keep on coming back over and over again because san diego is groupy san diego is paying them well uh, however like i said shout out to them homie uh but 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 hoodie hood is a homegrown San Diego nigga. Like I said, no slight to Hindu unplug. I I rock with it, homie. I love what you're doing, and it is bringing another uh, uh uh perspective to San Diego. You know what I'm saying? But you got a homegrown San Diego nigga who's been doing this 
And I've already had conversations with all these individuals, the, the, the older ones and the younger ones, you know, that's been on that platform from the other side. But it's politics. A motherfucker be like, damn, I'll fuck with that platform, but I can't go on there because of this. Or the homies might, the homies might be tripping if I go on there with him. We holding ourselves back, homie. We holding ourselves back at the end of the day because of stuff like that. Because of where I'm from and because, you know, shit that be happening and niggas don't want to necessarily stand next to me, even though they like and respect what I'm doing, homie. So y'all got to stop telling me you should get this person. You should get that person when the door has already been open. That's on them to come on my platform because we see how fast they got on another platform. I, I'm like, God damn, how he get that interview that fast? Hey, man. Hey, politicking in these YouTube streets, man. But Hoodie Hood gonna continue to be great. Hoodie Hood gonna continue to put this content out. And we just gonna, we gonna have to get it the hard way, man. It's gonna be extra hard, but I'm used to that. Like I said, look where I'm from. Look at what the city is mostly populated with. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got other platforms. Like, I don't even know who run that fucking, uh, Dago TV page on IG. You will never see Dago TV post a hoodie hood video. You haven't seen it, you won't see it. You know what I'm saying? It's because of where I am from. I'm trying to tell you, homie. We've been doing this long enough in San Diego. We know when motherfuckers are like, ah, we ain't trying to shine no light over there. I don't know who run that. I don't know if the nigga bang, but I can bet my last dollar he got some ties to the other side. <laughs> These is facts But like I said We're going to continue To keep on being great We're going to continue To do what we do uh, If people going to rock with it They going to rock with it um, But you should probably Try to rock with it While you can Because I mean Eventually That door going to close But Like I said It's your boy Hoodie from the hood A.K.A. your friend From that big O.N. Y'all let me know What y'all think in the comments Y'all smart Y'all part of the hoodlum gang You know what I mean Y'all are a reflection of me Y'all see what's going on. I'm out.